Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a summer extreme clean with me and I am getting a few of the nitty gritties done in today's video, sharing a couple of toddler meal ideas. I also do a little bit of decorating in today's video. All of the cleaning inspiration for you guys and some decor inspiration. I hope you guys find some motivation in today's video. So let's get started. Hey tribe, okay, so all the cleaning motivation in today's video, like I said, this was three and a half hours worth of footage. I didn't even record everything that I did. This was over a couple of days. So all of the cleaning motivation in today's video, I wanna start out by saying I laid out all of my products for you guys to take a peek at here. I get a lot of questions as to what products I use. I use the Caldrea Room Spray. I make my own countertop spray. I use Method products mainly, and I also use Mrs. Myers as well. Um, here in the next clip, you'll see me also doing a little bit of my essential oils and my diffuser. It's one of my favorite things to do during the summertime is diffuse peppermint and lavender. They're so good and it's so fresh in the house. It makes it smell so good. Also, sharing with you guys today, one of my favorite YouTubers here, Mrs. Farrington. I have actually been following her for quite some time. Her content is gold. She has very similar content to mine, all of the cleaning motivation, mom life, sharing the marriage, and just the real raw life as being mama. I will have all of Gabby's information linked down below for you guys, her Instagram, her YouTube, she is an amazing human being, and I would love if you guys went and checked out her channel, tell her that I sent you, maybe send her a cup of coffee her way. She is the coffee mama, just like I am. So I am very excited to be collaborating with her on today's cleaning video. She also has a cleaning video up on her channel today. So again, everything will be linked down below for you guys. All right, so getting into the nitty gritties, I am first off deep cleaning my sink. As you guys know, my dishwasher is still broken. Um, so that's fun, but I have been using this, I have no idea how to say it, Bone Ami, Bon Ami, I have no idea. No clue, sorry if I butchered it, but that is what I use on my sink and actually my bathtub too, which you guys will see later on in today's video, but I use that to really get my farmhouse sink nice and shiny clean, and I also use this scrub brush. Now all of my products um, that I'm using on the sink and all of my Method products, Mrs. Meyers products, you can actually find all of those over on Grove Collaborative, which I always have linked down below for you guys. If you're a new user to Grove Collaborative, you know you get that free five piece Mrs. Meyer set. Go take a peek at it. If you are not new to Grove Collaborative, you can also use my link and get a couple of free walnut scrubbers, which is what I use to do my dishes every day, you guys. So using a little bit of the fresh cut grass Mrs. Meyer sent, and it's surprisingly good. Oh, and of course, coffee with some sugar-free creamer. Yum, I gotta keep myself going with some of that magic juice. So, anywho, um, that is the dish soap that I've been using, and this is the coffee that I've been drinking. Now, I'm gonna let you guys sit back, relax, and get all of the motivation here, and I will pop in in just a minute for a couple of other really fun things. So here in the video, I impromptu did a little redecorate of this tray that sits on my counter. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. I hated it. It was just full of junk and keys. 
And I had, so I have this huge aloe in my dining room if you guys have seen it, and uh, the mama aloe had a bunch of baby aloe, and I literally stuck it in like an old like pasta mason jar, and the aloe babies were getting really sad. So I decided to stick them into these cute little containers that I had actually sitting up on the shelves in my living room, um, and I'm just kind of pruning the aloe. I'm taking off all of the dead parts. I have some cactus soil in these jars as well. Um, and then I gave them just a little bit of water because they were looking a little sad. So anyway, just a cute little arrangement that I did. I love succulents. I love cacti, things like that. So this just looks really nice in the summertime. Adds a lot of green to the kitchen area. So highly recommend if you guys have plants in your house or if you don't, what are you doing, girl? Get on the plant train, being a plant mama, you know, because us mamas, we just need all the things to take care of and keep alive. Anywho. Super cute, I'm really loving how it came together. Leave a comment down below with what your favorite plants are, your favorite house plants are, because I would love to know. I recently have gotten on that plant train. Like I said, I am a plant mama now. I've got a fiddle leaf fig tree in my room. I have a paradise palm in my dining room and a monstera, monstera, I don't really know how to pronounce that. I'm really bad at pronouncing things. But I have that guy downstairs in my entryway and I'm just loving all of the green it's adding to the house and I love that it detoxifies the air, the plants do. So anywho, I would love if you guys have any plant recommendations to send them my way. Sober, always in my head Met you at a time when I was so low Went from just talking to taking you home I don't wanna go back to who I used to be So if you ever leave me I promise you won't let me go all right, so toddler meal idea number one. I wanted to go as healthy as possible. Um, so I'm gonna share with you kind of a healthy variation of this. I just kind of just used what was around in the house. It wasn't the super healthiest, but you can swap out for quinoa or even brown rice. Um, I used white rice, cream of mushroom soup, and then ground hamburger. You can swap out that ground hamburger with um, possibly like a ground chicken or ground turkey. And then you can actually use the 98% fat free cream of chicken and cream of mushroom. So it's a little bit healthier. Or if you guys have any other recommendations, I'd love to hear them um, for like replacing the cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. But my kids love this. They absolutely love it. And I just served it up with a little bit of Greek yogurt and some broccoli and Reichert loves it. Now, if you guys think that he's not going to finish this whole thing, Wait for the next clip because you guys, this huge heaping serving of this hamburger rice, he ate the entire thing. See, all gone, entire thing. He was mad that it was all gone. And I was showing him, I said, hey bud, this is all gone. So anyway, that is such a hit in our house and you can do variations, you can do an unhealthy version or you can do a more healthy version with like ground turkey or a ground chicken and a brown rice or quinoa, like I mentioned. If you guys have any other variation ideas, leave it in the comments down below. I love when everybody kind of chimes in, chips in a little bit, gives everybody some ideas, all of us mamas. We need all the meal ideas, especially when it comes to our kiddos and trying to be a little bit on the healthy side. So leave her down below.
All right, toddler meal idea number two is copycat chipotle bowls. I actually, I'll cook my beans from like, is this raw? I don't know how to say it. Dried, <laughs> there we go. Dried beans, and then I will like rehydrate them. I'll do like a quick soak, and then I'll cook them for about like five hours on the stove top. Um, and then here, I all I had were chicken drummies. Now, the key to the chicken from Chipotle, Kidoba, whatever your jam is, is you need to use the dark meat, guys. You guys need to use either a chicken thigh or chicken drummy in order to get that same yummy chicken texture that they have over at Chipotle and Kidoba, etc. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of picking out a few seasonings. I wanna do like a combination of a dry rub with a little bit of wet rub, or wet rub, um, just like a wet marinade. And I am using Mateo salsa, a little bit of Cholula, chipotle, creamy chipotle. It's like actually like a mayo like sandwich sauce, but it does the trick. Um, what I do is I will pull back the skin on the chicken drummies. Kaya still loves the chicken skin, so I'll leave it on. But I just pull it back because I'm trying to season that meat. I don't want to season the skin, I want to season the meat. So I'm adding all of my wet sauces first. Um, and that is going to keep the meat nice and moist. I know, terrible, terrible word. Um, but then I'm adding onion powder, chili powder, garlic powder. Um, I add like a little bit of nature, nature seasons, ground cumin, and then like a roasted garlic mix. And then I just mix it around with my hands. And I will let that marinate for approximately two to three hours. Um, and here on the stove, you can see that I have now removed the beans from the heat and I'm setting a timer for an hour because you wanna let it sit on the back of the stove no heat for an hour covered before you finish cooking them all the way. This is called a quick soak if you are not familiar with dry beans. So anywho, that is what I did for toddler meal idea number two. You will see how it comes together towards the end of the video. It is one of my favorite meals being on Weight Watchers as well. I will save my points up for that cup of rice, you guys. It is so yummy. Um, and here I also am cleaning out the stove and doing all of the nitty gritties like I said. I had a filthy kitchen.
Okay, so let's quick chat about that little cutout in the back of the laundry room. So long story short, when we were redoing our bathroom, um, we did a farmhouse bathroom remodel. Um, our master bathroom is actually on the other side of the laundry room wall and we had to cut a hole in order to put the new shower head on. So Mike wanted to make sure that it wasn't leaking first before we patched that up and I kind of touch up that wall and the pattern I did on the wall. So that's why there's a huge like hole. You can kind of like see where the cutout is right in front of my hands there. Um, so I'm just kind of covering it up because it's not tape and textured, etc. So that is why there is a hole in my wall. If you guys are interested in some of our DIYs and renovations, please go and check out the M&M channel. So if you guys don't know, if you're new here, uh, my husband and I run a side business, M&M Rustics. It's a furniture making business. We do custom built-ins and things like that as well. We've been doing this for about five years on the side of our full-time jobs before I quit my full-time job, I should say. Now I fully focus on YouTube and M&M Rustics. I have M&M Rustics down below linked for you guys and we just started a channel back in march for our diys and renovations and all of the inspiration for you also started a blog we have a few blog posts up on our site right now talking about some of the renovations that we've done in our own home and links to everything that we used etc so go and check out the m m channel go check out the blog make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because we have a lot of really fun ideas and DIYs and home decor coming up on that channel this fall and this winter. We're going to be kicking it up quite a bit. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that quickly for you guys because I know you love all the home decor and DIY stuff. So head on over to m, &M Rustics if you want even more inspiration.
So here I am sharing my deep clean of the kids' bathtub. Also stay tuned for a deep clean coming out on Sunday. I have a deep clean of the rest of the house coming out on Sunday that I'm sharing with you guys. I'm super excited for it, but here's a little sneak peek. I will use my little scrubby, the same thing I use for my sink. I will use here for the bathtub. That textured bottom is just so hard to scrub. So I will use the same scrubber in the same, like as a bone ami whatever product I will use for the bottom of the bathtub. I'll fill it up just a little bit with hot water and really give it a good scrub before I move on to the rest of the shower. So after I've scrubbed the bottom, I will spray the shower with the Daily Shower Method Spray. I'll make sure that I take the kids' toys off of the wall, but I give it a really good spray. And then I will take out my handy dandy Clorox like shower wand thing. Super awesome. I don't break my back when I use this thing and it just it scrubs it so well. It's better, better than using a rag or any kind of scrubby. It just it gets into all of the cracks. And again, I don't break my back, so I highly recommend this little tool. Um, and here I'm showing you guys the chicken from the meal I showed you earlier, and this is what it looks like all plated up. Again, my kids absolutely love this meal. They will devour it. Anything with rice, I feel like, goes a long ways. Again, you can swap out the white, the white rice for like a quinoa or a brown rice. White rice is just what we had on hand but Riker loves it. He loves the rice, he loves the beans, he'll eat all of the chicken, he eats all his food, he is such a good boy. Versus Kaya, look at that plate there. She will take a couple of nibbles, she'll run off, go to the bathroom, she'll kind of just putz around a little bit, and then usually around like 6, 30, 7 o'clock, she'll come back and finish the rest of her meal. It is so hard just to get her to sit down when we are all eating, but we're working on it. One of the mom struggles I have these days, but we are working on it.
All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this collaboration with Mrs. Farrington. Gabby is one of the most amazing human beings, and I'm so excited to be sharing her with you guys today. And here I go again, doing it all over again. I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye, you guys.